Let's see the 8 most common image file formats and the most important things that you need to know about them. Hey everyone, I'm Dom from Wondershare Uniconverter. Let's dive right into these formats and during this video I'll show you an accent converter tool to convert and edit all sorts of image files. First up we have JPEG or Joint Photographic Experts Group. JPEG is probably the most popular image format out there. It's known for its lossy compression, which means that it reduces file size by discarding some data. This can slightly affect image quality, but it allows for smaller file sizes. JPEGs are perfect for photographs and images with gradients. You'll often see them used on websites, social media, and in digital cameras. Next, let's talk about PNG or Portable Network Graphics. PNGs use lossless compression, meaning they maintain image quality without losing any data. They also support transparency, making them great for images that need to be layered or have transparent backgrounds. You'll find PNGs commonly used for web graphics, logos and icons. If you need high quality without any compression artifacts, PNG is the way to go. Now we can't forget about GIFs. The graphics interchange format supports lossless compression and up to 265 colors, but what really sets GIFs apart is their ability to support animation, essentially multiple images played in a sequence within an image file. GIFs are ideal for simple web graphics, banners, and of course, for those little animations and memes you see all over social media. Moving on to BMP or bitmap. BMP files are uncompressed, which means that they can be quite large. They store color data for each pixel without any compression. BMPs are used when image quality is crucial and file size is not a concern like in high quality printing and archival storage. Before moving on to the rest of the image file formats, let's take a look at the image converter in the Uniconverter that you'll find a very useful tool to have on your computer at all times. You can open it from the home interface of the Uniconverter and it supports all image formats that you might come across. Apart from converting them to one another, you can crop them, change colors, resize and compress them, and it can do it all in batch with the option to set different settings for each image. So definitely check it out, it's a useful tool for beginners and professionals alike. Now next we have TIFF or Tagged Image File Format. TIFFs are versatile and can use both lossless and lossy compression. They support high color depths and multiple layers. TIFF is the go-to format for professional photographers, publishers and medical imaging. If you need high resolution and quality, TIFF is your best bet. Next is SVG or Scalable Vector Graphics. SVGs are vector-based, meaning they use mathematical formulas to define shapes and colors, making them scalable without loss of quality. SVGs are perfect for logos, icons and illustrations, especially in responsive web design where you need images to look sharp at any size. All right, let's talk about HEIF or High Efficiency Image Format. AGIF uses advanced compression techniques to produce smaller file sizes with higher image quality compared to JPEG. It supports 16-bit color depth and various metadata. This format is becoming more and more popular, especially on smartphones like iPhones because it saves storage space without compromising on quality. And last but not least, let's talk about RAW files. These are minimally processed images from a camera's sensor preserving all image data and settings. RAW files are essentially for professional photographers who want maximum control over image editing. They capture the highest possible image quality and detail and therefore they're pretty large when it comes to file size. And there you have it, a quick rundown on the most commonly used image file formats and their uses. I hope this video was helpful and if it was, make sure that you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.